Believe it or not, respect and celebrity status doesn't protect you from being catfished. On this week's episode of Caught presented by Catfished, we're going to be taking a look at the emotional story of the Notre Dame phenom, Monty Teo. Back in 2009 to 2012, Monty Teo was a star linebacker for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish football team. Monty quickly became recognized as one of the most dominant linebackers in college football at the time. Hello, here comes the rush, and here's the hit. Man, a lot. My goodness, that was vicious. Though he received recognition in almost every college girl's dream, Montes didn't socialize with any of them on or off campus. Reason being, Monte Teo was in love with a beautiful, kind-hearted girl that he met online named Lene Kakua. Even though they have never met in person, Monty would describe their relationship to be something of a dream. Monty stated that in a conversation they were having, she told him to always stay humble and keep God as his number one friend. And her biggest thing to me was always be always be humble, always be humble and keep God as my number one closest friend. And as long as I strive to honor him, I'll be honoring her. On September 12, 2012, Monty received news that his grandmother died at the age of 72. And just a few hours later, Monty had learned that his girlfriend of almost two years who suffered from leukemia had also passed away. Six hours ago, I just found out grandma passed away and you take, you know, the love of my life. Last thing she said to me was, I love you. Her funeral was set for September 26, 2012, but unfortunately, Monty was not able to make it since he had a game day against Michigan. He decided to play because she had made him promise that no matter what happened to her, he would stay right where he is, playing the game that he loves, making big play after big play in her honor. After Notre Dame's victory, the coach honored the memory of Teo's girlfriend with a game ball. And I'd like Van Ty to have this ball to take back to Hawaii for her. After the news broke, some reporters noticed that the dates weren't adding up. Realizing that, they decided to do some investigating and what they found was pretty shocking. Lene had never passed away. She had never even existed. Reported by on Wednesday, Lene Kakua had never existed. Manti was the victim of that hoax. Never existed at all. It was all. never real. When questioned, Monty said that there was no way, as he would talk to her every day. They would speak so much during the evening that oftentimes they'd fall asleep with each other on the phone. He was confident that the reporters were wrong, and after reporters investigated further, they found that in fact, the photos that Monty was receiving was from a different girl named Diana Murrah. Reporters also found that Monty's girlfriend was not real, but in fact a man named Ronaya Tuisosopo. January 31st, 2013. Ronaya comes clean on the TV show Dr. Phil. He stated that he did it because he might be gay and possessed true feelings for Monty. Why did you end this relationship? For many reasons. Um, there, were, there were many times where uh, Manti and Lene had broken up. I finally realized that um, I, I just had to move on with my life and how to get, you know, my real me, Renaya, I had to start just living and, and, and let this go. And so concludes the story of Lene and Monty Teo. Shoot us a like if you enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments which story you want to hear next. For more in-depth details on this case, please feel free to visit us on our blog linked in the description below. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages, hit the notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught presented by Catfish goes live.